Hey, friends. This time, I have a private eye picture for you. 1991's V.I. Warshowski, starring Kathleen Turner and Charles Durning. Our story goes like this. V.I. Warshowski is a wisecracking Chicago private eye, the V standing for Victoria. Work is slow, and her sort of ex-boyfriend, a reporter who cheats on her, hangs around her apartment. She's kinda feeling down, so she goes out to a bar she likes. There, she meets up with a hockey-playing hunk named Boom Boom. <laughs> Boom Boom stops by her place and drops off his daughter, a foul-mouthed, precocious kid. He wants our heroine to keep an eye on the kid for a few hours while he handles some business stuff. But when Boom Boom goes Boom Boom, V.I. Warshowski takes the case on behalf of Boom Boom's daughter. Over the course of the movie, the pair are chased, shot at, and generally put in peril as someone tries to nab the kid. But who's behind these kidnap attempts? What's it all in aid of? And why was Boom 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 Boom? In our cast, we have Kathleen Turner as V.I. Warshowski. Turner is really good, and she carries this thing. As far as she can, anyway. Angela Gothals is here as the mouthy kid. She's pretty good, too, and I liked seeing the pair working the case together. Jay Sanders from The Day After Tomorrow is the boyfriend. He's okay, doesn't have much to do. His character is not too likable. Charles Durning plays the friendly police captain. This role, not really a big stretch for a quality actor like Durning. And Wayne Knight from Seinfeld and Jurassic Park is also in this as a local hoodlum. There's a few other character actors you may recognize too, but this is Turner's movie. Other than Durning, she's the name brand here. The movie is based on a long-running book and short story series by feminist author Sarah Paretsky. Starting in 1982, V.I. Warshowski, unlike other fictional characters, ages more or less in real time along with the series. The movie is taken from Petresky's novel Deadlock. V.I. Warshowski was supposed to be the opening act in a movie franchise for Turner, but that was not to be. Turned out this movie was a huge flop. <laughs> and any dreams of a franchise quickly evaporated. As for the movie, no surprise, Turner owns the part. The kid's okay, and she has some funny moments. Exteriors were shot mostly on location in Chicago, and there's an exciting speedboat chase on the Chicago River. The mystery is also really good, keeping you guessing until the big reveal. So, with an established book series and a name brand like Kathleen Turner starring, why did this movie bomb so hard? Well, there is a little feminist claptrap in V.I. Warshowski, as you'd expect. But when I say that, the feminism we see here is still not nearly as cringe-inducing or off-putting as the stuff being made today. So I can't point to that being a factor. It could have been that the idea of a lady private eye wasn't really a new concept, having been explored before, with Tommy and Tuppence, Remington Steel, Tucker's Witch, and a TV movie called This Girl for Hire, a failed pilot from 1983 starring Bess Armstrong as a lady P.I. Uh, that's a pretty good one, actually. In other words, the idea just wasn't all that new or cutting edge as it might have been in the late 1970s or early 1980s. And it's not really been updated from then as you'd expect with a movie from 1991. Or it could have flopped because V.I. Warshowski feels all the world like a TV movie, but with Carson. 
It doesn't have the cinematic look or feel that might have given the picture some gravitas on the big screen. It's never as exciting or interesting as it wants to be, and comes off feeling kinda lightweight. The movie also clocks in at only 80 minutes, which makes me wonder what got cut and why, and how lousy that material must have been. Or maybe when this movie came out, there were just better pictures playing at the cinema. It's hard to say. It's not too bad, really, but it's not great either. It tries, but never really sticks the landing and never really decides if it wants to be a quippy comedy or a serious shoot 'em up It didn't make me curious enough to want to read the books either. Gotta say, V.I. Warshawski reminded me of another movie we talked about recently, Backstreet Justice from 1994. In fact, I started wondering if that one may have been cribbing from this movie. They even start the same way, with our heroine rolling out of bed in the morning after a rough night. Oddly enough, Backstreet Justice seems to play up the scrappy female private eye thing a little better than V.I. Warshawski, despite being a lower budget affair. So V.I. Warshawski is okay. It's not great, but well, it's not really crappy. There are some good moments, and Turner is the biggest reason to watch. So I'm giving V.I. Warshawski two paws up. You can see my review of Backstreet Justice here, and down there, you can see more reviews of movies from the 1990s. You take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one.